There are some port defaults that are used by Cisco. For some historical reasons, there are some legacy default settings which you will want to remove on every device. The first one we'll talk about are log messages that are sent to the console port. This is done by default and they tend to mix in with whatever you're typing. For example, you can be in the middle of typing an IP address as shown on the screen and then a log would pop up on the screen in between your commands. A solution to this is simply sending all logs to memory buffer instead. You can do so by typing the command no login console followed by the command logging buffer 8192. In this case, 8192 is the size of the buffer followed by the debug command. After this, you can show all the logs by typing the command show log at the prompt to see the buffer contents. The second poor Cisco default that we'll be talking about is that DNS lookups are sent to broadcast address. This can cause long delays as it tries to look for reverse lookups. As you can see on the screen, when you try to ping nsrc.org on the router, you would see it would try to translate the address nsrc.org using the domain server 255.255.255.255. After some time, it will return the error unrecognized host to address. You can fix this by simply disabling DNS resolution completely. To disable DNS resolution, you can use the command no IP domain dash lookup in configuration mode. Alternatively, you can configure real DNS servers using the command IP name server followed by the IP address of the DNS server you would like to use. With the examples on the screen, the DNS servers we're using are the Google DNS 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. Please bear in mind that this can lead to delays when the network is down as you'll be unable to reach the DNS servers. The third poor Cisco defaults that we'll be talking about is that typos are interpreted as host names to connect to. A very common one that happens is if you try to type right and you accidentally type WRTIE. What happens is Cisco would try to translate WRTIE to a host name using the domain server 255.255.255.255 and of course it will return bad IP address to a host name. This also happens when you have a proper DNS server configured as well. A solution to this would be actually Disabling this by typing the command transfer preferred none. You would do this either under the line console, this is for the console output, or you would use the line BTY04 interfaces, which you would use for accessing the router using Telnet or SSH. The last and final for default we'll be talking about is that the router does not forward IPv6 traffic. This solution to this is only on routers and not on layer two only devices. Remember layer two only devices are switches which no routing capabilities. To enable IPv6 traffic forwarding, you would simply type the command IPv6 unicast-routing in the configuration mode.